Away from education, let's focus on health. A group under the auspices of Center of Excellence for Sickle Cell Disease Research and Training, University of Abuja, have challenged the media and key stakeholders in the nation's economy to intensify efforts at mitigating the scourge of sickle cell in Nigeria. The group made a call during a media training on newborn screening in the nation's capital. Our health correspondent, N.A. Anthony, reports. Over the years, mitigating sickle cell disease in Nigeria has been at the front banner of national discourse, with stakeholders calling on the federal government and well-meaning Nigerians to join the fight against the disease. To this end, experts believe that early follow-up of babies detected with the disease after screening, as well as early referral for treatment, will go a long way to reduce the increasing death rate of babies with sickle cell disease. We have been able to identify point of care tests that you can do without so much infrastructure in the remote areas that will tell you to a high degree of sensitivity if you have sickle cell disease or if you have the trait. And the government has now adopted this point of care test for screening in all primary health care centers for universal COVID. Elia, the Director Center of Excellence for Sickle Cell Disease, Obiageli Nodu, disclosed that Nigeria and the Democratic Republic of Congo bears the highest burden of over 465,000 babies born annually with significant disorders of hemoglobin. So one of the very important uh, measures you know, in preventing sickle cell disease is by creating public awareness. One of the key um, um, points of this campaign we are doing is that home care, which is very important. Now, thank God we are in Africa where we, we, we live this community life. You know, your child is, is everybody's child. Anybody could see your child having issues. So one way to help with that is that home care. So part of this campaign is that People who are relatives, who are parents of people who have sickle cell are also trained. Sickle cell disease is described as a group of disorders causing the red blood cells to become misshapen and break down. This ailment has claimed thousands of lives globally and will continue to if appropriate measures are not taken. Humanitarian services remain crucial to the development of any society, especially at a time when some countries of the world are battling with crisis and health issues. A humanitarian organization reached out to those in need at the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital as they also seek others who have such capacity not to estimate to do the same. They stated that the level of poverty in the country is a major reason for unpaid bills by some patients at the hospital. Considering what, what we just um, witnessed the past two years, the, the COVID and the, the current one that is ravaging the country, uh, monkeypox and Ebola, I think um, hospital is the best place to come now and show your love to the, to, to the needy. And I think if all our leaders start showing that, that they stay in this country to get cured, to get treated from all their in, uh, illnesses, I think uh, we'll believe more in the hospital. The issue of health is a very, very important part of our human lives and uh, uh, we have a lot of persons that are not, they, I can say they are less privileged because they can't, the money is, what they earn is not even up to, to taking care of their health. In advanced countries, the government subsidizes a lot of health uh, payments, but here in Nigeria, as, a, as a people, you need to do it yourself. And that's why most of persons here can't pay their bills on their own. The healthcare system in Nigeria I think the government just needs to do more because even the private uh, individuals who have been trying to push, they are still constrained by a lot of government rules and uh, regulations. So the government needs to do a lot more to be able to make healthcare affordable to the, even the lowest in the society. 